President Uhuru Kenyatta's backing of Raila Odinga for president no doubt charted a new political course for the country. But the ties between the two run deep, stretching more than two generations of Kenyan politics. NTV's Ngina Kiruri spoke to historian and political commentator Professor Masharia Munene, who puts a mirror up to history to a tale of father and sons that has shaped the country's politics. <laughs> Lakini kutoka leo, kwa fikira, kwa mdomo, kwa damu, kwa roho. History often tends to repeat itself or rhyme. This is a much storied history of a complex relationship between two families that keeps turning new chapters, with the latest installment playing out in the form of a newfound camaraderie. But for all the showmanship, it hasn't always been one big happy family. ABC has been taken hostage by Jubilee. By admission by Mr. Chebukati himself today. IBC is run from State House. Bwana Odinga, kwa sababu tumekubali haki yako ya kukaa nyumbani, kwa nini unafikiria ya kwamba wewe uko na haki? For Kenyatta and Odinga, their histories have always been intertwined. Their fathers, just like them, were political allies. But they had a falling out over the direction of a newly independent Kenya in 1964, especially over land and power. These differences ultimately undermined the alliance of the country's founding fathers. So there was a scheme to remove Jaramogi from being vice president. And they created Majimbo vice presidencies in Kanu, not government, in Kanu. And when that was done at Lemuru, that's when Jaramogi said he's fed up and uh, he resigned to conform KPU. But perhaps the most striking point of departure in the relationship between the two families is that Raila Odinga and President Uhuru Kenyatta appear to have made peace with each other, publicly at least, something which Jomo Kenyatta and Oginga Odinga failed to do. Since Uhuru is no longer a candidate, Raila is still a candidate. Eh? So they are not confronting each other anymore in this regard. And there really is no ideological difference between these two. So if they are not fighting each other for positions, because Uhuru and Raila have been fighting each other for positions, nothing else. But with the president's latest move to set aside decades of a bitter sibling rivalry, political commentators now see the making of a complex love triangle. Some argue that the deputy president, now stuck in a cold and loveless marriage, faces the curse of the second in command that has befallen many that have come before him. And in that sense, then it is very similar to Jomo and Jaramogi being together up to a point and then disagreeing on what? On policy. Um, it is not exactly the same, uh, but there is a small similarity. And from that time, on whether to have this accommodate Raila more and have this committee to examine these issues, uh, the president was not happy that his deputy had defied his wishes. Raila Odinga and President Uhuru Kenyatta have no doubt taken a path less traveled in the history of the two families. However, Many political pundits will be on the lookout for whether the love will last and the unity hold long after the dust of the August elections has settled. Gena Kirori, NTV.